Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be going through five simple medieval campfire designs, so let's get straight into it. For the first one, as you can see, it's basically the default campfire in Minecraft, but the tricks to building something like this is the texturing of going between cobblestone and stone, or whatever other textures you decide, but also stuff around it, like these little buttons I have that are meant to be pebbles around the main rocks of the campfire. So yes, very simple, normal medieval campfire that you could probably put in caves or just normal open areas. But moving on to the next one, this one looks pretty bad up close because it's meant to be a bonfire. So this is one that you would have as a feature from a distance because as you can see, if you go further away, there, that looks okay. But when you come up close, it really it doesn't have much detail. So the only tricks for this one are you have to not have flammable materials near it if it's survival, but also you can get the actual smoke here by going beneath this fire and putting a normal campfire like that and you can do that in multiple places but for the actual base of a bonfire like this it just looks something like this really so you just want to have a sort of pillar of netherrack and i use these shroom lights to fill in the areas where there doesn't need to be netherrack blocks but yes a simple bonfire and don't build it for an indoor area <laughs> So next we have what in my opinion is the campfire from the Ewoks in Star Wars. What did he say? I'm rather embarrassed, General Solo, but it appears you are to be the main course at a banquet in my honor. <laughs> So this is sort of the one where you would hang up your victims along this line to be cooked by the campfire. It's pretty simple detail, it's just some walls, stairs, fences, and a chain to connect it. But also I put these trapdoors along the bottom to make the campfires feel a little bit more connected to this sort of structure. But if you want to add a little bit more detail, you can get any sort of log but I believe mangrove logs are the best, and just put it in the middle there. It looks a bit weird, but it's like the whole thing of the steak cooking over the fire, and it's just an idea. Moving on to campfire number four. This one, you definitely, definitely wouldn't call this a campfire because this is more of a indoor fireplace on a larger scale. This one also doesn't look very good up close, as you can see, but from a distance, this one looks the best because you can imagine this on the interior of a mansion. So the key with this is stairs. You can put them pretty much anywhere, but you want the stairs to shape the overall shape of it. So see, you can make that open to make it feel more like a Christmas fireplace and stuff. But also, you could use this for in the interior of a blacksmith. So if you had some lava, you can move your campfires down a block to keep the smoke, but then put lava on top of it. So this could be for if you have like a blacksmith or a smelting area, but this would just be aesthetic. You can't really do anything with it. And if you don't like that you can see the top of the lava, you can just connect it with the stair like that. But personally, I think it looks better with a slab. So yes, feel free to copy this design block for block, but it's really just meant to be an idea for you to base your designs off of. And finally, this is just a simple in the middle of nowhere campfire with the logs for benches and some simple detail for the main campfire. I did the pebbles trick again and I chose to make the ground area stone but if this was in the middle of a forest or something you would probably want this to transition to dirt or grass. The trick to making these logs too is to make sure that they're spaced apart evenly. They don't have to be the same size like you can see this one is three blocks and the rest are four but they're all still the same distance apart so it's easy to get into the area. 
But yes, if you want to build something like this, it doesn't have much detail, so you'd want to put grass around it and lots of trees. So yes, thank you for watching this quick video of five campfire designs. I have a Discord server and a Patreon if you want to have a look at either of those, but I hope you enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!